Creating a Golden Age for Humanity, One Community Weekly Progress Update number 141. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for profit and non profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable. I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 51C3 nonprofit organization. This is our Weekly Progress Update number 141, December 6, 2015 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we will add you to our newsletter list, or you can subscribe to this YouTube channel. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core Standards. This week, the core team, which includes the Pioneer members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred the first 50% of the written content for the sustainability lesson plan to the website. And you can see that here. This lesson plan is purposed to teach all subjects to all learning levels in any learning environment using the central theme of sustainability. We also complete an additional third of the mind map for the fall lesson plan. That brings this mind map to 60% complete, which you can see here. Behind the scenes, we wrote the final third of the sustainability lesson plan, bringing the behind the scenes written part of that to 100% complete and ready for addition to the website. If you'd like to help with this education program, we are seeking people to finish these lesson plans. We've got them all outlined and we're just looking for the creative minds who would like to contribute something amazing to the educational world through our open source and free shared education program for all ages and all educational levels. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team working on highest good food completed another 10% on the organization of the streamlined version of our food self-sufficiency transition plan page. This work includes contributions provided by naturopathic doctor Matt Materano, creator of the Coherent Model for Comprehensive Digestive Health. This week, we worked on organizing recipes on breakout pages for specific weeks. Food transition page organization is now 60% complete behind the scenes. We also added three additional recipes from Sandra Solani, vegan chef and author of What's Your BQ, to the Food Self-Sufficiency Transition Plan. These recipes are apple oat bread with cinnamon glaze, jackfruit chili, and spaghetti squash with garlic, tomato, and basil. In this area of our open source project, we are seeking permaculturalists, an irrigation specialist, a surveyor, and a chef to join our team as either consultants to the project or pioneers who will be moving onto the property with us. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This last week, the core team put another 10 hours into the behind the scenes revisions for the Footers Foundation and Flooring page for the upcoming crowdfunding campaign. This week's focus was another thorough and significant revision of the compass installation and use details. You can see some of this work here, and we'd say this brings us to 55% complete with this total rewrite and update. Chelsea Augustine, architect, also continued developing the compressed earth block village pod four classroom and other shared community spaces, which you can see here. And Dean Schulz, architectural designer, further developed what's necessary for us to create quality Cobb village pod three renders. Here's update 2.0 of this work that focused mostly on finding and creating missing textures. 
In this area of the project, we are seeking a master plumber and a master electrician. If you or someone you know would like to help with this component of our open source creation process. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team added 3D natural pool and spa details as our continued development of the Duplical City Center 3D specifics. This included the furniture, aesthetic stone details, and people you see here. We also added additional flooring planning and specifics. With these additions, we'd say we are now 80% done with the complete 3D update. Iris Sue, industrial designer, continued finalizing the pipe furniture design renders for the Duplical City Center library. The new renders you see here show how the chairs convert to tables, how the designs can be used for storage, labels for the different kinds of wood, and a host of other design clarification specifics. Behind the scenes, Mike Hogan, automation systems developer and business system consultant, and Lucas Tetsui Da Silva, fourth year computer engineering student, continued work on the control system design. Here's the most recent layout for this, and here's one of Mike's clarification drawings and a bunch of pictures of us discussing different chips and components, the way the circuits are created, and exploring how to continue to minimize the space everything requires on the board. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This last week, the core team began working with Ivan Manzaroff, artist and illustrator, to create new icons for all of our pages. Ivan also created these logo alternatives for us. In addition to this, Lisa Ramos, graphic designer, produced these alternative font options for our logo that will soon be updated with the new tree and earth you see here in these examples. In this area of the project, we're seeking graphic designers, web designers, and technology specialists, videographers, and building a highest good legal team. If you or someone you know fits these descriptions and would like to join our Highest Good Society creation process. One community sees what we're doing and other global sustainability organizations are doing as creating a golden age for humanity. Most people that are paying attention to the industry and what's going on on the planet right now realize that we have enough resources, enough knowledge, enough technology to transform our planet into a world that truly works for everybody. For the first time in the history of the human species, we could actually do this and create a planet that will last for our generation and for generations to come within the lifetime of our generation. And so one community's contribution to that is open source and free shared tools, tutorials, resources, and blueprints for do and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living models that can be combined as a complete model for teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs to be built around the world. These teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs are purposed to teach others how to live sustainably and self-sufficiently as well. And our idea is that if this model can be made easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrated as attractive enough that the idea will spread on its own and can truly transform this planet within our lifetime to one that is sustainable and works for every living person and creature on it in a way that is positive transformation, moving our world towards that golden age for humanity that we think is possible. We can create a sustainable world. We can create a world that addresses poverty, addresses education, social inequality, homelessness, lack of sufficient energy infrastructure, all of these things simultaneously, and we can do it in our lifetime if a self-replicating model is successfully created. This is what one community is all about. And we're bringing together people with the consciousness for the highest good of all that believe that creating a golden age for humanity is not only possible, but that we're the ones to do it. We're not waiting for somebody else to take action. We're taking action. And all the details and specifics, the ideas of combining physical infrastructure, the, the physical foundations of sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing, with the emotional foundations of sustainability, which are highest good education, fulfilled living models, highest good economic models, and true earth stewardship, putting these things together as an evolution of sustainability that most people will find, in our opinion, to be a better way of living than they're currently living right now. So that the idea will spread so that every single individual that wants to participate has a way to do that. And so we can start this process, the process of creating a golden age for humanity. We can start it now. 
it's going to take time, but we think that a self-replicating model could shorten that time, and because of the internet, the ability to share information and to share ideas, because of that, we think that it can move and expand more rapidly than any other time in the history of humanity, and that we can see these changes realized within our lifetime. So this is what we're up to. If this sounds fun to you, if this sounds exciting to you, if this sounds interesting to you, there's ways for everybody to participate, ranging from the pioneer team, they'll be moving on to the property, building everything as one community, to the the volunteers and consultants working behind the scenes, helping out, to just sharing our information on social media. We're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. We're on LinkedIn, we're on Twitter, we're on Reddit, we're on Tumblr, we're on Pinterest, we're on Facebook, we're on Sue, all the different social media networks because we want to get the information into the hands of the people that need it most. The faster we can get the word out, the faster people know what we're doing, the faster we can reach that tipping point of participation so that what we do can virally spread and touch the lives of everyone, positively influencing the future as we write the next amazing story, the next amazing chapter in the human story. This is what we're up to. This is what we're doing. So people ask, well, what's the next big step? The next big step for us really is funding. We have a huge group of people that are participating and helping us evolve everything, and so we're moving forward. But funding would allow us to take it to the next level by purchasing the property and disclosing the location. We have a property that we've been looking at for five years now that we would like to purchase that is perfect for spreading our ideas, for inviting hundreds of thousands of people eventually to visit one community, to experience, to see the seven different village models, to experience the education program, to experience the fulfilled living model, and to reach that, that, that understanding of a way of living that most people will consider it to be better in the way that they're living right now. And we believe that if we can get them to experience that, we can make it easy enough for people to replicate it and affordable enough for people to replicate it. That is the self-perpetuating, self-replicating model that we're so dedicated to and that everything that we're doing fits into. So if you are somebody who has the funding or if you know somebody who might have the funding to create, to purchase that property and to help one community take everything to the next level, that is the number one thing that could help us right now. Sharing our information on social media is probably the second and easiest thing that people that anybody could do right now. And then, of course, volunteering with us is, is also uh, immensely helpful. And, of course, the small donations are immensely helpful, too. It costs hundreds of dollars, thousands of dollars to run an organization like, like ours, even though we're an all-volunteer organization with a completely unpaid staff. None of us are paid. I'm not paid. Nobody that's working for our organization is paid anything to do what it is that we're doing. But the expenses to run an organization like ours are still existent. You know, it costs us money to do everything that we do to maintain our website. And so the $5 donations, the $10 donations, the $25 donations, those occasional 50 and every once in a while $100 donations really make a big difference. And any major donation would make a big difference too because it helps to cover those expenses so they're not coming out of the pockets of those of us that are already doing all the volunteer work. This is what we're doing. We see what we're doing as building a, a building a bridge between pragmatism and idealism. The pragmatic aspects being the foundational infrastructure components that have already been done successfully around the world, but have not been put together, put together the way that we're putting together. And the idealist aspects being that creating of a golden age for humanity, creating that world that we know is possible. Building a bridge between these two things and enrolling people in the process by making it easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough so that the self-replication process can begin and we can realize this experience of creating a golden age within our lifetime so that we can look around in another 30 or 40 years. And if you look at the self-replicating possibilities of what it is that we're doing and how fast it would take to actually involve everybody if what we were creating was truly diverse enough to meet the needs of anyone, anywhere, and was truly easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough, if we could create that, and that's what we're doing and what we're focused on, touching the lives of every single person on this planet, even up to 10 billion people, more than our current population, all this could happen within 30 years. It is possible. So this is where we're up to. As always, thank you for following our progress. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Send us an email if you'd like to be on our email newsletter list. And of course, until next week, we will keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our progress.